The last week I've been trying to make a vlog happen. I've been out on two really nice sessions, like with perfect weather conditions and all that. And tried a really, really interesting spot for uh, to hopefully put the big fish on the camera. Uh, first time I went down there last week, I found the mother load of big halibuts. They came up on the sonar and just uh, I got three of them to bite. It was a lot of big fish packed on a small area, but they were extremely finicky. I mean, the most finicky I've seen them. Uh, it was really, really tough. They didn't want to really swallow anything. I got them to bite my jig on my curly tail. Uh, take my bait fish a couple times, but uh, was I mean, so yeah, basically that was uh, an insane day. So I went back there, and the second time I came there was no fish there. I fished the high tide, which was the period period when I actually got him to bite a little bit the time before. So yeah, my mind have been um, circling around that for a couple of days. We have had some wind now and not the really ideal conditions. But I woke up today and I really felt like trying one other spot where I usually have a lot, like a couple really big galibuts like in the beginning of the season as well. So I'm gonna hit the high tide over there right now. It takes 15 minutes to get there. I'm gonna fish it two hours or two, three hours. And then we're gonna have a lot of wind coming later today so just a quick session on the high tide there and hopefully I can uh, get a big one to bite and I only brought my jigging rod today and a couple of heli bandits I got the midnight glow rigged up right now the mackerel color and then I got the cold fish one as well which is a really really cool color gonna give them a shot now and um, it's a lot of wind so probably not gonna be the best sound today so I'm sorry in advance of a uh, bad audio today uh, but hopefully we can get some uh, get some Hollywood action on All right So basically what happened was 
Last drift I had a really big halibut on about my jig. Uh, and he didn't want to touch it though. I said, you know what, fuck this, I make a new drift. Went over the same spot again. And then I couldn't see my face on the sonar. But I just felt the uh, uh, nib on my bait. It pretty much came up and just lifted it. So, classic halibut bite. I backed up the boat really hard against the wind. And when I got the jig on the sonar, I saw a really big mark under the jig. And, whoo! And then I just kept holding it. I lifted it up two meters and then whack! Fucking inhaled it. And it's really tough with the current and the, and the strong wind here. So this landing is gonna go to freaking history, boys. Okay, we got leader. Yeah, boys. Woo! That's a good fish. Okay, so I pulled down my drag. And this one is really chill. So I'm just gonna pop it in like this. And we're on, boys! Yeah, boys! Woo! Yo! Right here is probably about just about 145 to 150. So I don't gonna mess around too much with this fish more. I'm just gonna let him go. But the current is whipping like crazy with the wind. He put up a good fight. So now when I have just gaffed the fish with the the rope is going around the bone of the arm through the skin so the fish can breathe good in the water and it's no problem but it's quite choppy right here so I'm just gonna let him swim now Ew! with the curly tail really like this goldfish color got like a little uh, pearl belly really bright white line and uh, like back don't need much more than that second size so I'm pretty sure that that was the fish that I saw on the sauna last drift came up and made a really really good mark and uh, I guess I was lucky, he made the same drift again, came down at the spot and he just whacked it. So, just around 45, 50 kilos, just under 50 I guess. So, uh, now I made this spot, it's way too windy for me to just do this again. So, gonna try uh, on another spot where I think it's a little bit better conditions, just on the edge of this area I'm fishing pretty much so Okay, it's pretty big though, it's pretty big. I just dropped down to the bottom and uh, reeled up like uh, four meters. And since it's blowing and stuff, so I had a hard time see, seeing the bait on the sonar. 
But when I looked at the solar screen, I kind of saw... Ah, oh, fuck, going under the boat. I kind of saw something coming up from the bottom. But it was like a really un, uh, unclear mark. But yeah, he just went up for it first try. Bam, bang. Set the hook real good. And the Halle Bandit is locked. It is your voice. Ah, it's pretty heavy though. as the other one in the beginning but I tell you the weight is there okay <laughs> it's another good one it's another good one Woo! I'm pretty sore from the last fish so on this one. Alright boys, the clock is now 5 to 1, I went out at like 11, a little bit after 11, first fish I'm guessing to 145 to 150 and the drift after 170, so <laughs> now I'm gonna go home, that was a quick session and uh, yeah, feels good though. Alright boys, so that was a bit rowdy, uh, I was out for two hours, just a quick session and the wind that was now was supposed to come a little bit later but when I got there it was already blowing like hell, but yeah I gave it a shot anyway and as you saw it, it turned out to go pretty well, first of all I'm pretty dead right now, but that's just a luxury problem I guess, it was really fun. Um, and also I like the measurement on that big one on 170 every time that fish got straight in the waves I had it at least 170 but I mean it's not an exact measurement but uh, it's what I got it to anyway 
Uh, but anyway, it was super fucking cool to get it on the jig. And uh, as I told you before, the BFT C jigging rod on the 450 grams and 5.8 foot did the job. The Black Thunder V12 with the strike wire, 041 multicolor. And uh, usually in the spring we have really good fishing on jigs for some reason. Uh, always have uh, yeah, big ones on jig in the spring. Uh, I don't know. So I've been messing around a lot with bait fish last week and as I said, didn't really got them to bite. But now we have a little bit uh, higher moon phase, which means that you're gonna have more current in the water and stuff. So probably what turned them on that extra notch that needed. So um, I started with the halibut in uh, midnight glow, the maximum color. So yeah, I started with this one, and I really I and I love glow colors like. This is a really like white glow uh, with this green. Yeah, it's really, really last, uh, really nice with some silver flakes and a great color. I didn't have any more rubber bands with me for this stinger. You can use some uh, steel wire and stuff to make attachments, but I, I'm lazy, so I haven't done it. So using rubber bands, didn't have any with me. Last one on the a small cod. So, so uh, switch to the cold fish one. Which I have like this, uh, I think Savage Gear make these hooks. I'm not 100% uh, sure, but they're really good with two spikes going in like this. A lot better than the one with uh, two hooks. They destroy the bait a lot. So, what can I say? That was really fun. But the wind was like too much and I was so sore in my body. So, I felt like, okay, that's enough for being alone. Was, uh, it's quite rowdy, but uh, a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoy and um, see you in the next one, I guess. Ciao!